Hello guys, welcome to my this video and in this JavaScript tutorial just I will discuss about the difference between slice method and substring method and I will show you the practical example. So guys, slice method and substring method both are used for the same purpose but guys here is the difference. So that difference today I will just discuss. So first of all here I will write a variable that is str but you can write this variable name as per your choice and now here I will pass a string value that is hello and now guys slice and substring method used to cut the letter from string or it may be the array here i have used string but you can use here array also both are the similar okay i mean both time the output will be similar so now guys here i will ex uh, i mean show you the example using string okay if you want to add here array so you can write here a b like this way you can write array also okay i hope it's clear i am showing here example that using string so now guys suppose i want the output h e double l i mean from this hello word i return that i i want to output that is h e double l okay so this one so how can do that so this time we use slice method or substring substring method so first of all i will use here slice method so where i want to use slice method in this hello so hello this string uh, string letter i used in this str variable so here i will write str dot slice and slice method takes two parameter here you can say start and end number okay so i want to start from here so i want to start from zero okay how many letter i want to cut so here you can see four letter one two three four I mean this is the end position so 4 and after that just here I will store it into a variable that is slice method okay and now this variable I will print in console so console dot lock this one comma this this one okay I print it so now save and just i will check it in browser so you can see in this slice method here i am getting he double this output okay and the same thing now i will show using substring method and after showing that substring method you will think both are the same so now here i will write so here i will just add a comment that is for slice and now from here i will start to write for subs string okay so the same thing the syntax also same so here i will write a variable first of all that is substring method okay this is the variable so you can write any variable name and now here i want to use substring method in this particular variable also here so string dot substring you can see and this one also you can see here it takes two parameter that is start and n number so here the same output i want to get using substring method so starting is 0 comma and ending h e double l so h e double l this is the four letter so i will write here four and after that i will print it in a console so console dot log and this one comma this one and this is the i will pass here string okay and here i will add a dash hyphen so it will be more understanding so now save so you can see from using slice method i am getting the same output and also substring method but guys now you are thinking what is the difference so guys now here you can see i i need a output that is h double l i mean start position is here to here so i have written zero this is slice and same thing i have written for substring method but guys now here if i write 4 to 0 i mean from here to here so let's see what will be it will be happen so 4 to 0 i mean same thing just i have reverse here and for the substring method also so now let's see it will be giving me the proper output or not so refresh so in the case of slice method you can see i am not getting proper output i mean it's a blank but guys in case of substring method 
I am getting the output whatever we want exactly. Right. So that means guys substring method in case of substring method it's greater than value and less than value doesn't matter. Like here if you passed 0 to 4 so it will start from here to here or if you pass 4 to 0 so it will start from here to here and it will give, you, give the same output but guys in case of slice method when the start value will be greater than end value I mean end parameter here so that time slice method return blank so this is the difference okay so I hope guys you have understand and this was very simple thing but inter in case in the time to interview this type of question you, you, you may face so that's why I made this video and if you find this video is helpful so guys don't forget to like this video and please subscribe and also press the bell icon for get more video.